Hello relatives, welcome to this week's Schlagbeit for the week December 13th, 2010, entitled Zombie Nation. Do you know what the top-selling class of pharmaceuticals is in America today? Let me give you a hint. It's not cholesterol-lowering drugs. It is not heartburn inhibitors, nor antihypertensives, anti-inflammatories, antibiotics. The top-selling drugs today are antipsychotic drugs. A decade ago, antipsychotic drugs were for people who were delusional, hallucinating for the schizophrenias and people with bipolar mania. Nowadays, they're prescribed for people with chronic anxiety, depression, attention problems, temper tantrums, and who are invariably taking other medications. More than half a million kids take antipsychotic drugs. In the United States, nearly one child in 10 is diagnosed with ADHD. This is a 25% rise in the last 10 years. And fully 25% of nursing home residents use antipsychotics as well. In spite of the fact that uh, we know these drugs can be fatal to older people, and as a matter of fact, we have no idea about the long-term effects on children either. Antipsychotic medication generates revenues of about $16 billion a year. Every major pharmaceutical company that manufactures antipsychotics aggressively markets these drugs as supplements to existing treatments for people <coughs> who are suffering from such diverse conditions as chronic pain to impulsive behaviors. It is my strong belief that we psychiatrists are prescribing too many drugs for too many non-existent diseases. And it's the result of a business relationship between pharmaceutical manufacturers and the psychiatric establishment, whether they are psychiatrists in private practice or in medical schools. They both collude in defining unacceptable behaviors as mental illnesses, for which, of course, there are medications that can be prescribed. In the last 10 years alone, we've expanded the diagnosis of bipolar disease more than 40-fold. 25% of all Americans are now labeled as mentally ill, with diagnoses ranging from anxiety, stress, self-control problems, and mood disorders. We have got to stop supporting this popular big pharma direct-to-consumer marketing myth that if you're feeling or behaving anything other than wonderfully in every moment that you could be suffering from a disease. There is no pill that eliminates all of life's discomforts. Find alternatives to drugs to face what's bugging you. Talk to people you like and respect. Try to do some new things and find out what your problems have to teach you so that you can move on. We are manufacturing mental illnesses. We're prescribing too many drugs and turning this country into a prescription drug addicted zombie nation. That's what I'm thinking. Have a great week in this joyful season of renewal. Find ways to lift your spirits other than prescription drugs. I say this for all my relations. Mitakuyasi.